Coach, uh, how is Clint Dempsey and his back rehab? He's still having a few issues. So, you know, he's still questionable on the on the injury report. So, you know, he's he's working to get back, but still having some issues. Uh, obviously, a game that you want to uh, get three points on. How, how you how would you manage it uh, from beginning to end? Is it something that you would like the team to get going on uh, immediately in the first half? Or? I think our starts have been fairly good as of late. Um, I think over the course of time, and even you know the last year and a half since I've been around, you know we've had periods of time when our team has gotten off to a little slower start than I would have liked. It's kind of flipped around a little bit. We've off, been off to some good starts, but we haven't really made our opponents pay, so to speak. So we'd obviously like to start on the front foot. We're at home. It'll be a big crowd. It'll be a nice day to play. So obviously we want to start strong. It seems like Roldan has really gotten accustomed to that winger role. What have you seen out of him there? It's good. Well, he, being wide at the right times, coming inside the pocket, allowing the space for Kelvin. You know, Christian's tactically very, very astute. So he gets it, he understands the position. That's why he's, you know, played a bunch of different positions for us. You don't control the 18 that Siggy's putting out there against yeah. you, but you do control your team's attitude towards it. Do you look to try to take advantage of what they've got with their injury situation? Obviously, everybody knows about the injury situation. We will get their final lineup, you know, an hour prior to kickoff. So all we've messaged all week long is that this is a really great opportunity for us if some results go our way and if we're, you know, better on the day and we get three points that we could actually make it above the playoff line. We do not want to slip and be overconfident and say, ah, you know, they've got injuries, the DeSantos, you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to prepare for the game to make sure we start strong and then see where the game takes us. Uh, Kip Kihi has uh, started uh, consistently now. Uh, what have you seen out of him that has maybe put Roman now in a secondary role? Well, I wouldn't say Roman in a secondary role. He started against uh, San Jose. You know, he had to come on for Kim Kihi against Minnesota. There's still open competition there because I haven't made my mind up fully. Um, but yes, your point is well taken. Kim and Chad have been a good pair and the team has had some success. So the balance with the coach is always how do you, you know, keep everybody going? How do you keep everybody motivated with playing time, game sharpness, all of those things we discuss a lot. So Kim has shown that, you know, he's aggressive. I like aggressive center backs. Um, you know, his passing is decent. Uh, he showed a lot of the characteristics that you want in a center back. Is it fair to say that it's just kind of a rotation depending upon the rival and such? Well, I wouldn't call it a rotation. It's coach's choice, what the coaching staff feels for any given game. Um, but yeah, we, we we love Roman. He's done a great job for the club, and you know I want to make sure that we keep him involved somehow. Through this, through the season, the defense has been a, a hallmark of the organization. Does, with all the rotation injuries on both sides of the ball, is that a is that a credit to Chad Marshall and Stephen Fry? Are those two that should be getting a kind of recognition going into the late season? Yeah, for, uh, for some odd reason, I'll start at the very, very back. For some odd reason, Steph. You know, might not be in that national conversation as often as we think he should, but we're, you know, obviously biased. But, you know, he's been rock solid for us since he's been here. Tommy Dutra, again, does a great job of managing and training all the goalkeepers that he's had here over the course of time. And, you know, Steph's just another, you know, long line of goalkeepers that have been great competitors and great goalkeepers. You know, you look at Chad Marshall, you know, his, his story is well written about three-time defender of the year, you know, all of that sort of stuff. You add Roman, you add Kim Kihi on one side of him, you add Ozzy and Gustav in front of him. I mean, yes, down the spine of our team, I think we're very good defensively. Uh, similar to the uh, competition rotation in the back and the, and the uh, midfield, you've got uh, Victor Rodriguez coming back to fitness. How would you characterize kind of the competition there um, at this point? Well, Harry's come on and done a great job. So Victor and Harry have to fight it out. They got to figure out who's going to start on that left side. 
but they're both versatile too. I mean, Harry could move over to the right. You know, Nico could come in the middle, or Christian could come in the middle, Christian could drop back a line. I mean, it's nice having a bunch of flexible parts to play not only in a band of three, but in a band of two as well. What's Brad Smith's condition right now? He's good. He's working out. Um, you know, we'll, we'll make that decision probably tomorrow at the game, whether he's going to play or not.